so much for joining me here at Blessed Be Yoga. My name is Brie Rasmussen and today we are going over a quick 15-ish minute yoga for sleep. So hopefully this will help get you nice and calm and relaxed and ready for bed. So I will go ahead and just jump right into it. Um, you can do this on your mat or if um, your room is set up in a conducive manner, you can do it on your bed as well. And then you can just go right to sleep after this. You don't have to get up, so it'd be great, right? <laughs> um, you will want a wall and either a bolster or a rolled up blanket, maybe a couple of pillows to prop up underneath you at one point. So like I said, you can always skip um, those things and just take an alternative posture. I'll go ahead and give you a couple of recommendations for it. But um, those are going to be uh, potentially helpful for you during this flow. So I will go ahead and read our scripture and we will jump right into it. And hopefully you will be able to get some rest after this. So we are in the book of Psalms, chapter 91, verse 1. Those who live in the shelter of the Most High will find rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I just wanted to meditate on that today and just really get in the mindset of rest, right? So that is our scripture. We are going to, um, I'm going to pray us in and then we're just going to hop right into it. So if you will bow your heads with me. Heavenly Father, Lord, God, we thank you so, so much for this day. Lord, I have no idea what it entailed for anyone else, but I know that there are times where at night my mind just continues to race and Oh, God, we just need that cover of night, Lord, in order to fully rest and recharge, Lord. And so I just pray that this flow will help whomever's watching it uh, do just that, Lord, and find some rest and some peace. God, I pray that after this flow, their bodies will be and their minds will be relaxed and just focused on you and ready to be refreshed and renewed in the morning. Father God, may you guard our hearts and our minds throughout the entirety of this practice. It's in the powerful name of Jesus Christ that we pray. Amen. All right, friends, we're going to start out um, in Hero. So I'll have you come to your knees. I'm going to have you bring your knees together and um, bring either foot out towards the side of your mat or just out away from your body and then sit back in between your feet here. Draw your shoulders back and down, soften that tailbone under, knit the ribs. So we're in a seated hero right now. Feel free to close your eyes if you're comfortable. Just breathe here. If this isn't very comfortable for you, feel free to take a pillow or a block and place it underneath you. Just sit on that. That'll elevate the hips a little bit. And if you would like, you can start reclining with us. We can come into a partially reclined hero. Just place the hands on the soles of the feet and sit back onto shoulder blades or onto your forearms, excuse me. Draw those shoulders back and down, open up the chest. If you have a bolster or some pillows or a block, you can choose to place that underneath you and make this a little bit more restorative. If not, and it's available to you, you can come into fully reclined hero and you'll just work your way onto your back. Make sure that your shoulders are in full contact with the mat. Your ribs are knitting together. Your knees aren't splaying up and out. They're staying together and on the mat or the bed. If all of those things aren't happening, it might be a good indicator for you to um, draw back from that posture a little bit. Using the bolster or a block or something really helps to make this restorative. So I do highly encourage you try it out. And when you're 
ready, we're going to come up into a seated camel. So if you are fully reclined, I'll just have you um, come out the same way you came in. Hands on the soles of the feet, really push down through the elbows and press up on one hand and then the other and come to a kneeling position. If you are in um, a supported, partially reclined hero with me, I'll kind of have you do the same thing. Push up with the elbows, drop a hand down, and bring yourself all the way up. I'm just going to scooch that out of the way. And I'm going to come up and sit on my legs now to be in more of a kneeling cobbler's position. I'm going to draw my hands back behind me. The palms of my hands are facing my toes. Take a deep breath in. I'm just going to walk my hands back a little bit. Draw the shoulders back and down and lift the chest. Round out the neck. Keep those ribs knit together. Focusing on that verse, finding rest in the shadow of the Almighty. And when you're ready, I'll have you walk yourself forward with your hands and then we're just gonna hinge forward into a child's pose. like you can rock your forehead back and forth on whatever your surface you're resting on kind of release some of that tension in the forehead Taking a few more deep breaths here. Inhale for four seconds. Exhale for seven. Inhale. Exhale. Last time, inhale. And exhale. Wonderful. When you're ready, pushing yourself up. We're going to come back into a supported fish. If you don't have those pillows or a block or anything, you can just come into a savasana. So just lay flat on your back. Legs are going to be a hip width apart. You can let the feet fall out to either side of you. For a supported fish, we'll go ahead and extend the legs out long, keep the toes touching. Place your bolster or pillows right behind your hips and just lay yourself back. Hands can be out towards the sides, palms up or down. Maybe you rest your hands on your belly. Oh, see, it's working already. <laughs>
exhale. And exhale. Last one, breathing in. And out. On your next inhale, I'm just going to have you bend your knees. And then roll to the outer edges of your feet. Bring the soles of the feet together. Let the knees fall out wide. Maybe you place your hands on your thighs to add a little bit of pressure and just open up the hip. Thinking about those who take shelter in the Most High will find rest in the shadow of the Almighty. We're going to come into some reclined spinal twists. We'll have you extend the legs back out long. Push up off your bolster or pillows. I'm just going to move it to the side. You might want it for our final posture just to have underneath your head. So keep it close. We're just going to recline fully onto our backs now. Keep that right leg extended out long. Take a deep breath in. Left knee to the chest. Maybe do a couple of circles with your knee. Loosen up the hip. And when you're ready, we're going to take a nice deep inhale. Right hand to the outside of the left knee. Exhale, twist, stack those hips. Try and place that left knee down onto the ground. Extend the left shoulder out long. Gaze over that left shoulder up towards the ceiling. Really root both shoulders down onto the mat and breathe. left knee back to the chest, come to center, alternate legs here, right knee to the chest, maybe do a couple of circles, take a deep breath in, left hand to the outside of the right knee, exhale, twist towards the left, stack the hips. Extend that right arm out long. Gaze over the right shoulder or up to the ceiling. Root both shoulders down into the mat. Rest here. Deep breath in, a long breath out. When you're ready, bring that knee back into the chest, 
drop the feet down to the mat we're going to move into legs up the wall so if you have a wall nearby feel free to join me in that posture if not once again you can take a savasana just come into your corpse pose legs are outstretched long toes can be pointed outwards hands towards the side if you do have that wall though we'll go ahead and come over to it i am going to take my left hip and bring it as close to the wall as i can drop back onto my elbows onto my back and then just kick my legs up the wall i'm going to use my bolster as a pillow here but Feel free to use whatever you like. Legs can stay out stretched long. They can come wide. You can come into another bound angle. Whatever's comfortable for you here. I invite you to close your eyes if you're comfortable with it. Just take a deep breath in. and out. going to read our scripture a couple of times using Lectio Divina. I just want you to meditate on the words, keep your eyes shut, keep breathing. If you begin to lose focus, just draw your attention back to the breath. Those who live in the shelter of the Most High will find rest in the shadow of the Almighty. who live in the shelter of the Most High will find rest in the Almighty. For the last time tonight, Psalm 91, verse 1. Those who live in the shelter of the Most High will find rest in the shadow of the Almighty. Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you so much for this day. God, we thank you for everything that you have provided for us, Lord. Father, I pray that we are able to find rest tonight, find peace and stillness and be restored in the morning. Father, we know that you are a God of good, Lord, and you're using every single circumstance to shape us and mold us into the person you want us to be. God, and we thank you for that, Lord. We just pray that tonight you will grant us the peace and the rest that we need in order to be rejuvenated to do your work tomorrow. 
Father, I pray you guard the hearts and the minds of everyone watching this tonight. Lord, may they find great rest in you. It's in the mighty name of Jesus Christ that we pray. Amen. All right, friends, as you start to bring your awareness back to the room, if you're still in legs up the wall with me, I invite you to just wiggle your toes. Maybe bend the knees into the chest. And when you're ready, just roll over to one side or the other and push up with both arms. And that is going to be the end of our practice today. I really hope that you are feeling rested and ready for bed now. <laughs> Have a very, very wonderful and blessed night. I will see you next time. Bye.